In this video, we will be looking at electronic structure. By the end of the video, you should be able to understand how electrons are arranged in an atom and you should be able to calculate electron configuration. Here we have an atom, and in the previous video, we mentioned that the central region of the atom is called the nucleus. So electrons orbit the nucleus in electron shells. So we've got one shell, two shells, and three shells. So each shell can contain a different number of electrons. The first shell can hold up to two electrons. The second shell and the third shell both hold up to three electrons each. We can show the electron configuration of an atom in this form. Electron configuration just means how the electrons are arranged in each electron shell. So we do the number of electrons in the first shell, use a comma to separate it, and then the number of electrons in the second shell, use another comma, and then put the number of electrons in the third shell. The electron shells closest to the nucleus fill up first. So when we count electrons, we start with the innermost shell. So we start with this electron shell, then we work our way outwards to the other two shells. For example, with this atom here, if we calculate the electron configuration, we need to start with the electron shell closest to the nucleus. So the first shell has two electrons, the second shell has eight electrons, and the third shell, if we count them up, also has eight electrons. So our total electron configuration for this atom would be 288. Again, you need to use the commas to separate the different electron shells. We can calculate the electron configuration of an element by using its atomic number. For example, lithium has an atomic number of three. This means that it has three electrons because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So we start by filling up from the innermost shell, so from the first shell, the one closest to the nucleus. So we know that the first shell can hold up to two electrons. But we have three electrons in total, so we left with one extra electron and we place this in the second shell. Because we have two electrons in the first shell and one in the second shell, our electron configuration of lithium is 2, 1. So this comma just means that they're in two separate shells. So this is the first shell, this is the second shell. Sodium has an atomic number of 11, so it has 11 electrons. Again, we start from the first shell, which holds up to two, so we place two electrons here. The second shell can hold up to eight electrons. So if we place eight in the second shell, it brings our total number of electrons to 10. But sodium has 11 electrons, so we need to add an extra electron on the third shell. We've got two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second, and one in the third. So our electron configuration of sodium is 281. Here we've got two more examples, carbon and aluminium. You can pause the video now and have a go. So carbon, the atomic number of carbon is six, so we have six electrons. So we start by placing our electrons in the first shell. The first shell can hold up to two, so we place two there, but that leaves us with a remainder of four electrons, so we place those in the second shell. So in total, we've got two in the first shell and four in the second shell. So the electron configuration of carbon is two, four. The atomic number of aluminium is 13. So aluminium has 13 electrons. Again, we start from the first shell, can hold up to two, so we place two. The second shell can hold up to eight, so we can place eight. And that brings our total number of electrons so far to 10. But we have 13 electrons, so we still have three remaining, and we just place those in the third shell. So we've got two in the first, eight in the second, three in the third. So our electron configuration for aluminium is 2, 8, 3. We can identify an element from their electron configurations. For example, 287 is the electron configuration of an element. So first we have to work out the number of electrons. So if we do 2 plus 8 plus 7, that should give us the total number of electrons. So the total number of electrons is 17. That means that the atomic number must also be 17 because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So the atomic number is 17. We look on the periodic table. The element with the atomic number of 17 is chlorine. So this element here must be chlorine. Let's look at another example. If the electron configuration is 2, 2, we just add them up. So the total number of electrons is 4. That means our atomic number is also 4. 
Let's look on the periodic table. The element with the atomic number of 4 is beryllium. So this element is beryllium. Hopefully you can now understand how electrons are arranged in an atom and you can also calculate the electron configuration of an atom.